All right, this is the uh, Samsung Epic 4G. Just kind of curious what everybody's running out there. Thought I'd share the programs that I run most. I've got the uh, widget in the center here for the time and calendar, um, the day. Um, I use uh, Skype constantly because I have bad cell phone reception in my house. So I use Skype to make my phone calls. The XDA developers application just to support them and. Uh, Basically, that's where a lot of my resources come from. I suggest going there if you want to learn about this phone in depth or any other similar uh, gadgets. I got a task manager up here. I use it intermittently, but uh, generally I don't. Um, my note taking app, the AK Notepad, I use that constantly. Uh, my calendar app, Pandora, uh, for all my music, uh, Gmail. Uh, constantly use that and I prefer the uh, Dolphin HD browser um, when we scroll over uh, I, I have a Google Talk account uh, Google Voice I actually do use voice I have some errors with it from time to time though I'm still working on some bugs uh, quick video don't really utilize it do have it though um, Facebook app intermittently use it I prefer to go through the browser um, or I use another widget actually. Uh, YouTube, pretty constantly use that application. Uh, this is a standard widget. A lot of people don't like it. I enjoy it. It has limitations. Um, interacting inside of people's posts is kind of rough, but it ties your Twitter account and your Facebook feeds together and you can uh, post into one and it will show on both um, and then you can still respond to other people. That's a pretty convenient little thing. Um, over here, uh, Google Goggles, constantly use that when I'm out shopping. That allows you to scan your, uh, scan your um, barcodes and stuff so you can get best prices, see what's around you locally. Um, it, it's great shopping aid. Uh, the standard camera applications, I kind of grouped them all together. Got the camera app, retro camera, uh, my gallery for all of my photos I take, FX camera. Uh, Shoot Me is a screen capture application. Don't really use it much, but it allows you to capture an image of whatever's on your screen and then you can use it to post on the internet, what have you. Um, camera Scanner, pretty cool. You can take pictures and it auto converts it to PDF documents. Um, these are webcam and iCam uh, viewers. They allow you to see different public webcams. You can tie them into your own private webcams, different stuff like that. So you can get feeds through. Um, back the other direction. That's my home screen here. Uh, app Brain, uh, use it intermittently. Uh, it's pretty good tracking your apps, a uh, good app source. Dropbox, use it all the time. Uh, use it on my computer, uh, multiple computers, other devices, tie in everything. I'm in school online, so it really helps uh, keep my file folder accessible to everything. Um, Evernote, don't really use it much. Maybe I'll start more. Um, I have it on all my devices. I don't really utilize it. Uh, the Marketplace application to get all your applications. Voice Recorder, I do use that a lot. It helps with uh, reminders for myself, um, take notes, uh, write different stories, different things like that. Fox News, it's a good application, but the feed kind of annoys me sometimes. A lot of commercials. Uh, the Al Jazeera's network, probably the best news application out there um, regardless if you like the news or not and they do uh, they are pretty slanderous against uh, the some of the western states like the US but uh, the actual quality of the application is excellent great feed it can run off the cell phone towers no problem it just lowers the quality or it can run off your Wi-Fi network and it just is excellent in quality and appearance CNN app, don't really use it too much, read some news from it intermittently. Um, it has trouble with the Dolphin browser, so when it asks, when you run it, I usually select the Google browser and it works best. Fox News app, use it intermittently. And this is just a news and weather application. Um, get some local weather, stuff like that. It's pretty easy to use. Over here is a lot of things that I use on a regular basis. Wi-Fi analyzer is great. Tells you the frequencies uh, that the Wi-Fi... Uh, is running off of so you can set up uh, routers without interfering, change the channels on the router, stuff like that. Um, the Compass app is obvious, gives you directional. Um, wireless Tether, use it all the time. Uh, great to give 
internet access to all of my other devices. Wi-Fi Finder, use it pretty regularly just to see what kind of encryption and if there's open networks around, that kind of stuff. GPS status, uh, great. Gives you all your different satellites, tells you what they are. Same with GPS test, uh, does the same thing. I've been one of the lucky ones with the Epic 4G without any real GPS problems. Um, just more of the similar stuff. Gmon's kind of similar. Uh, Google Sky, sometimes I use it intermittently. It uh, just tells you the uh, constellations, allows you to hold the phone in the air at night, and you can see all of the different stars, and they're labeled. And It's a pretty neat little app. Uh, My Tracks, because again, I use GPS stuff pretty frequently, and it allows you to track uh, yourself and make all kinds of stuff and then post it on the Internet. Um, this is Google Chrome uh, to Maps. Basically... Uh, Chrome to go, I think is the actual abbreviation, but it's cut off there. It allows you to use Google Chrome, select maps, and then it'll auto port it right to your phone so you can basically uh, choose a route and then send it to the phone. Um, places, just as a popular application to uh, you know find restaurants, what have you, anything like that. Navigation, it's also tied in with the map service. Um, those two I use constantly, uh, find my way around. I run them, even when I know where I'm going, I like to run them. It gives me an idea of distances and times, and um, I can find restaurants really quickly in areas that I'm not familiar if I want a certain type of food or if I want certain types of stores. I'm generally pretty accurate. I've seen very little inaccuracies with turning directions and stuff with that system. Uh, Latitude is like a check-in service through Google. I don't really utilize that. Uh, tons of different games on here. Tank Hero is pretty fun. I uh, really haven't used the sniper game very much. Uh, Robot Defense, I haven't really used too much. Finger Bowling's entertaining. Uh, Crazy Snowboard, uh, not really used. Uh, pinball, uh, pretty entertaining. Tetris X, uh, very fun. Chess Free, use that all the time. And then there's the Angry Birds and Labyrinth. Uh, use those intermittently. Uh, that's pretty much it, and that's what I use. Uh, kind of curious what you guys use. If you want to go ahead and post below or share a video of yours. That's it. Thanks for watching.